thank you so much guys for coming today and I really appreciate it because we had a great number of registration because the I see that the demand in studying in Germany is very high and especially we are in the season when you are preparing for your students to go study abroad and here today we are very proud to bring you another option another partner that are going to join our uh, Warsaw Global Conference in 2024 to be here with us and to introduce to you they are from the Germany and they are private University of Applied Sciences in Göttingen and uh, people who are going to be our guests today are Kofi, the Global Sales Manager, and Jackie, the International Student Recruiter. They will be the main point of contact for you and uh, for you to collaborate with. And today they are going to show you how it is to study in Germany, how it's going to cost the commission, which you for sure will be looking for. So remember to stay until the end. And we will also have a Q&A session where you can ask questions to Kofi and Jackie as well. Thank you, Nok. That was a really wonderful interview introduction and overview of your programs that you have this year and the next and then also of our university we really appreciate that um so my name is Kofi Boachedangwa like um Nyok introduced and we're really excited to be sharing um the overview of our university that's the PFH private university of applied sciences um I'm here with my wonderful colleague who like Nyok mentioned um will also be a point of contact um Jackie Alvarez who handles the B2B management for Latin America um so we work in collaboration and we will be doing the introduction of our university and answering any questions that you might have. As Kofi said, yes, I'm Jackie Alvarez and I'm from Latin America, that's true from Honduras. If you may know, it's a small country <laughs> in Latin America and I'm so excited to be today here representing PFH and as you saw before as well, I'm a recruiter for students and I'm doing as well B2B. So thank you for the invitation as well. I'm excited for today. And we're here to represent the PFH, that's the Private University of Applied Sciences. Um, and uh, we're excited to be doing this with Net24, who have been a wonderful partner for us since we started, you know, our working relationship with them. And we're really excited to be joining everyone in October in Warsaw um, for the B2B conference to get to know a lot of you who are here um, today. The agenda that we have for the overview will be the introduction of the PFH. So I'll be talking about the campuses Göttingen and Stade, which are the two campuses that we have. I'll also be talking about the fee structure. And then I will hand it over to Jackie to talk about the scholarships and then also the admission process. And then together we will take any questions um, that you might have and then give you the answers, of course, that you are looking for. So that will be the overview of the presentation that we have today. So the PFH runs mainly out of two campuses um, since our establishment in 1994 um, with operations commencing in 95. Um, we ran out of the Göttingen campus and then also the Stade campus. Göttingen is a city, you know, which we like to describe as being in the center of Germany, because from there you are really able to have access to a lot of the major cities in Germany, talking about Berlin, where Jackie and I live, um, talking about, you know, Frankfurt, talking about Munich, um, Cologne, Hamburg, in the north um, and out of the Göttingen campus we run all of our management programs so our master of science in general management and user experience management and design and then also our master of business administration in april of 2025 we will be introducing our eighth uh, management program which is the master of computer science in business um, and that will be run out of our Göttingen campus as well so more to come on that and then in Stade we run all of our technology programs the lightweight engineering and composites program our more traditional industrial engineering master program the digitalization and automation program and then finally our new mobility and micro mobility program so we run these two you know, programs or faculties from two different campuses. And uh, as we go ahead in the presentation, you will see why. The reason that we do this is also because we have equipped each campus, you know, to be in proximity um, to the industry that the subjects that the students study are thought in. And this is especially relevant when it comes to our Stade campus, um, which is relatively close to Hamburg. Now, when we talk about Göttingen as a city for students, where we run our three soon to be four master programs, what happens here is that 
you know, you have access to all services of the student union. Now, there are three universities in Göttingen, which makes it a very university, a very young city. Um, that's a state university, the private university that teaches health and then health related programs, and then also the PFH. But as a student at the PFH, you get access to the services of all student unions of the three universities. And uh, Jackie and myself know a bit about this since we're always running back and forth between our campus and the State University campus to use their cafeteria. So Michelin star cooking, like I like to say. Um, there's also the vast library facilities, you know, one of Germany's largest um, that students have access to by studying at the PFH. Um, there are also the discounts at the canteens and the cafeterias across all of the different, you know, options of study. Um, the discounts at one of Germany's larger sports facilities when it comes to universities, also in Göttingen, um, discounts on the culture tickets and cultural events, museums and theaters, and then also the regional trains are free of charge. So these are some of the many benefits that our students, you know, receive or are entitled to partake in um, just from studying at the PFH or, you know, in Göttingen with us um, by virtue of being a student. Now, Göttingen is a young city. This is one of the, you know, more exciting things about it. When we talk about the top five university cities in Germany, Göttingen is actually one of them. Now, this is because out of the 120,000 inhabitants, we have 30,000 students and about 3,000 of them are international students. Um, so this tells you really how young the city is because almost a quarter or even more, you know, of the inhabitants of the city are students and are young people. There are 45 Nobel laureates that come from Göttingen, like also something that we're extremely proud of. Um, and the city's motto is that, you know, it's a really scientific city. I'm sure a lot of you have seen um, the movie Oppenheimer or heard about it. Fun fact, he was actually one of the professors at the State University, you know, um, in Göttingen and something that we claim. Um, he studied there and we're very proud of it. So we claim him at the PFH as well. Um, I learned that from Jackie, by the way. So um, there's also the very excellent infrastructure that we have, you know, in the city. So by virtue of the proximity or location of the city, there is, you know, the ICE high speed trains, um, which stop at the train station in Göttingen. There's also the highways A7 North and South. And then also you are very close to the airports, Hanover and then Frankfurt and Main. So there's really excellent infrastructure when it comes to, you know, living and then also transportation. It's also a very green city, about 77.1% of the students use a bike. Um, and then also there's a city center with all of the grocery stores, the clothing stores, pubs, and then the parks as well. Now, when we talk about Stade as a city, um, you know, for students, Stade is where we run all of our tech programs, um, digitalization and automation, industrial engineering, lightweight engineering, new mobility, and then micro mobility. This is where we run all of these programs. And the reason being that Stade, um, unfortunately, I pictured the pixels are a bit stretched, but what you can see if you squint hard enough is that the PFH is really surrounded by a lot of industry. So we are looking at Airbus, which is the company that we developed uh, lightweight engineering master program with we're looking at cfk nord cfk valley stade we're looking at the grunewald these are all tech companies you know the dow that we find our campus really in um, the middle of what this means for our students is that a lot of them are able to study at the pfh and then really move into these organizations to be able to work once they are done studying um so they get in real time that marriage between theory and then um you know industry work and it's again something that we're extremely proud of to offer our students at the pfh some of the perks that we offer our students at the pfh are the discounts at the university's dining hall we offer them training options also at you know you know, the largest regional sports club, the VFL, and some of the courses are um, free of charge, selected ones, of course. Um, they are the regional trains, which the students can use free of charge, and then also the discounts on monthly and then annual bus tickets. Because of our location, you know, um, Stade being in the northern part of Germany, a lot of our students usually make the journey into Scandinavia, um, Denmark, they go into Sweden, they go into Norway um, on trips, on weekends, and it's something that we actively encourage as well, because we want them to get also that cosmopolitan European experience when they are studying with us. Um, with regards to the fee structure, which is a very important topic that um, you will need to be able to talk to students about, what we offer, we like to say, is value for money at the university. The most expensive course that we run or courses that we run are technology courses, 
each of them, you know, costing 23,600 euros for the entire program. Um, so for the one and a half, two years that you study with us, this is going to cost you 23,600 euros for each of the technology study programs. Um, with us, what you see is what you get. There are no hidden fees. Um, we don't spring up any surprises, you know, at the end of the program or at the end of the process. So this is what you pay also in addition to, um, you know, the blocked account, which is mandatory from the German government and not necessarily from the university um, when you want to study. Now, when we look at the management programs, the general management and then also the UX management and design, these are 17,300 euros, again, for the entire program of one and a half years. And then the Master of Business Administration is the um, most expensive, more expensive, you know, management program that we offer also for one and a half years for 19,820 euros. But of course, we're going to talk to you more about this when we meet in October. And then also, if you have any questions about, you know, the structure after this, please feel free to reach out to us via the contact details that you will get from um, Net24. All right, Jackie, I'll hand it over to you at this point. Thank you, Kofi. So yes, now we're taking up with the, one of the questions I get every day, and I'm always happy to answer, it's scholarships. So which scholarships are we actually uh, provide? As for now, we are offering uh, partial scholarships, like for example, the CBET study completion. This is when uh, students apply in the last semester of your studies, they check, uh, CBET check their, um, how was their last two or three semesters before? And if they apply, they can get a different scholarships for one time payment of 500 to 1,000 euros. Um, then we have as well the DAD prize. This is a performance oriented uh, scholarship, which will be provided in the second semester. Why? Because they are checking the notes or as it's say performance of the student from the first semester and they can get a payment a one-time payment of 1000 euro we do have a german scholarship this is as well performance oriented as well apply on the second semester of the studies of the student and it's a 300 euro uh payment per month for one year and um, we have as well a top student scholarship, which is for those students who have a great uh, grades in their bachelors. They will have a 25% reduction of the total tuition fees for extraordinary academic achievements. They and some of them uh, the students will have to do an aptitude test and so and an interview, but it's nothing to worry about. I've uh, even myself I just will interest you with the students who want to have the top student scholarship. It's nothing to worry about, and again, it's for those students who are um aware extremely good in their bachelor's program. We do, however, also offer regional discounts. We This is a state, as per state region, we have one uh, for regions in the world, depends, it could be between 10 and 20 percent for the whole tuition fees. However, there's some, a note from our side is that we cannot um, combine this scholarship. So if a student gets, for example, only the top student, they cannot combine it with the regional discount or vice versa, or hey, if they get a DID or the German scholarship, uh, you can then not apply for the top student. This, of course, the students will get more in detail when they're here and in their uh, orientation phase when they come on campus. However, it's important for you as an agent that you know that uh, they cannot be combined with each other. So it's one or the other. Great. So what, how is the admission process work? So actually it's fairly uh, digital <laughs> and kind of uh, easy to do. And uh, you have to go um, to the online application form, which is in our website. It's in the upper right corner called uh, Apply Now. Uh, or you can go as well and have a screenshot of our uh, link. You can fill all of the form, check the documents, well, fill the form of the student. And um, yes, then you have as well, or we will need the application uh, documents. They have to be complete and sent via email to admission at pfh.de at best in PDF form and compressed. So it means all documents in one huge PDF document. That will be great for us. And as soon as we uh, get this admission, will and if the students are, um, the documents are complete and everything is okay, admission then will send the uh, contract. 
and will of course explain if they have any college scholarships. So the scholarships you don't have to apply extra; there you will automatically apply it when you submit the application in the documents. So it means uh, if the student has a top student, you will know this at this stage of the admission process. As soon as you send the documents, admission will let you know, hey, you did actually have um, top student. Then you will get all the information in your email. And students have to make a payment of 1,000 euro fee and sign the contract. Note the 1,000 euro fees can be refunded if there's a visa rejection. This is as well written down in the study contract. So if there's a visa rejection, it's 100% fully refunded. After the student makes a payment of 1,000 euros and the contract, contract is signed, then we will provide the COA, which means the certificate of acceptance that the German embassy will require. So this is actually the process. If you ask me from apply to register, what is the time? If we have the complete documents from the beginning, of course, or maybe later on, it could take from seven to 14 work days for the whole process. Thank you so much, agencies. So you have all the information you needed, the contact that you need. You can already start uh, some collaborations right now. And uh, also for more information, you can also contact us via info at neweditrend.com. We will also send you the mass mailing for, to exactly the email that you have registered for this uh, webinar about the recording of this meeting. We will upload it on YouTube and you guys can also go to the YouTube channel of Net24 to watch it as well. So guys, really thank you for today and really hope to see you in Warsaw, also to you agencies and we will all meet again. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Have a good day, everyone. See you soon. Thank Have you. Have a great Bye. day. See you. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys.